Good evening, everybody. This is Davey Jones, live from our Pizza Hut in Osiris with Coach's Corner West on WQEL Facebook. We're brought to you tonight by Coach Tim Plumley and Mohegan Sports Medicine and Rehabilitation, Doug Ludhol and Associates Advanced Fiber Technology, Matt Studer at Spitzer Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Kia, just a mile east of the Richland Mall, Rob Lust at Edgefield Animal Clinic Marion, Matt Ramsey, John Ziegler, Drew Young, Frank Hyland, and all the associates of Bucyrus Blades serving worldwide markets from Bucyrus since 1951. And Roger Brown at Wings Lock and Safe, South Poplar Street at West Warren Street, Bucyrus. My privilege to welcome our microphones, the head coach of the Bucyrus Redmond, Tim Plumley, who lost uh, to Colonel Crawford, 42 nothing coach. These guys are really as good as we talked about last year. Oh, week. yeah, they're, they're, they're a very good team. They're very well coached. Yeah. The kids are always prepared. And Know, the they just got a lot of great bodies there yes, too, right? they do, but you know, they, they have a lot of great bodies, but they're very disciplined. They do what they're supposed to do, and you know, they, they do a good job out there. All right, we're not going to dwell on the game, but the bottom line is, let's take a look at Colonel Crawford. Uh, I think there were three or four this week in, in the rankings. Uh, with any luck at all, they should go easily. I think the next one the playoffs last year, and that's not out of line this year either. No, I think uh, our region it has has some tough matchups. So, so I mean, we're a very strong region, um, and they're part of it. But uh, you know, they're definitely capable of making it. Uh, I agree with that. Let's talk a little bit about some of the uh, stuff that's been going on annually here. You got a sophomore quarterback, Malachi Bayless. Uh, he's passed for over 1,100 yards in nine games. Not bad. And I know you. It's, in some games, you kind of de-emphasize the pass. We did, and, and I'm, I'm going to say that 1,100 yards has probably not met his expectations nor ours as a group. Um, you know, our, our passing game has been hit or miss this year, and, you know, we need to be a little more consistent and particularly a lot more efficient with that. But, you know, Malachi has come a long way. He keeps learning. He's young still, but, uh, you know, um, more I'm like, more, a, I'm like a little bit of a joke. I saw some guys drop some balls. Yeah, so yeah that, that happened. And I saw I saw some right in the guy's hands and he got called back from him. Yes, that, that does happen. That does happen. It, it, it's uh, it's uh, you know it's a team game and you know no one person um, has the, the, the cause for the final result. But you know I, I think that it, if you would talk to him and and, and he knows that uh, we, we he has some room for improvement. So we, Forty three percent completion rate actually like yeah. to see that going. Seven touchdowns, not bad, but no, could be better. No, he, he he is a he is a great kid, he's a smart kid, he's athletic and and uh, you know he's coming along. So he's gonna be great things for Malachi. Senior running back, Eddie Dagger, he was here last week and uh, he has seven hundred and fifty five yards on the season. He's a big game against Upper Sandusky and I have to get that thousand yard mark. Not totally out of the question. Now, Eddie, uh, I think Eddie was a little banged up against Mohawk, and then uh, he just ran into a great defense this past week, and we struggled blocking him front for him, so we didn't get much of a running game going. Uh, but Eddie has uh, really had a, had a nice season this year. And Eight touchdowns so far. Yeah, and uh, I think he's really learned how to hit the hole, and he, he has a little burst sometimes when he needs it, so we've been very pleased with that. All right. Lots of guys are shooting the football, you know, and he, you know, we, talk, we talked about Malachi. He's got a lot of choices to throw to. I'm not just looking up some of the guys here. Not a ton of yards from any one guy, but, you know, respectable from a lot of guys. For example, uh, uh, Randy Banks has a touchdown. Uh, Grady Jackson, 357 yards, a couple of touchdowns. Mike Wise, a couple of touchdowns, 200, over 200 yards. Uh, Mason Gebhardt, Braxton Lewis, Javon Gallardo, that's not that right? Correct, yep. Uh, these guys are all, you know, have some touchdowns and some yards. Not any, I mean, if they're going to key on one guy, that's not a good idea because he's got a lot of choices. Yeah, and, and we, we have the philosophy with those guys that, uh, you know, we rotate them in quite frequently. And, and some guys, you know, you know, if you look at how the, the rotations have gone, you know, some guys that have some catches there didn't play a whole lot of snaps last week, but they'll probably be back this week. So, you know, I, ha I have confidence in all those guys to catch the ball. And, um, and when we practice, we try to teach them all how to run the routes. And, um, so they're interchangeable, you know, and I always tell the kids, the, the more you know about our offense, the more reps you're going to get. Because you can. So it's a learning game. Yes. I think a lot of people, 
they only don't understand football have the misconception that it's all physical and there has to be the, the stuff between the ears is not all that necessary. That could be far from the truth. No, it, it, it can't be far from the truth. That you're 100 percent right. You, you know, we, we try to teach it as as a concept and things like that, so that the kids understand the whole the entirety of the play, as opposed to saying, "On this play, I do this," um, because. When you're in a smaller school, one domino affects another, so we might need to plug you in at, at a different position, you know, at the drop of the hat. So it, the more you know about our offense in totality, the better it is. Got a lot of young men around the table here. We're going to talk to these guys here in a second. Let's see if I get the names right. Ethan Huff, Chase Green, uh, Travis Layton, and Rakim, Rakim? Got it right, Rakim Deaver. And we're going to talk to all these young men here in just one moment. That comes up right after this. Our show brought to you in part by the Burkhardt family at Burkhardt Farm Sales, your case IH dealer farmers serving farmers on the Manette U Winchester Road. Also, Rod Steiger and Associates at Pizza Hut, Usiris and Gallion, the host of our show since 1992. Vince Ponziani and everybody at Waycraft Industries, North Central State College, Mansfield, the Crawford Success Center, Usiris, Hannah Newton at Wendy's, downtown Usiris and Upper Sandusky, Lee Plymouth, Brad Cyber, Swine Insurance Group, Usaris, and Gallagher. And we've got uh, young men around the table. We're going to go top to bottom here. Ethan Huff at the far end of the table down there. We're going to need to get him a microphone, Coach. And uh, Ethan Huff is a junior. And Ethan, talk a little about the role you've played in this football league, see what the positions you play. Uh, I only kick, but, you know, my role is just adding the points when I need to. When I get the chance, just doing my job. Though. Did you guys? Did you get any cheap field goal chances this year? I haven't got any field goal chances yet. Most of our times that we've had a chance, it was when we've needed the points of the. So six we got the red zone. We were going for it, right? Yeah, we right. needed those six points. All right. Well, uh, you feel comfortable if they call on you for the field goal? Let's let's let's, let's paint a picture here. Yeah, you know, I got Mo Mohawks ahead two points. We've got thirty seconds left in the game. You got the ball at the thirty yard line. Can you do it? Thirty yard line. I don't know. That's pushing it, but I, I might be able to you're, make you're it. You're getting some help from uh, Rakim, Rakim down here. He, he says you can do it. If I got the wind in my back, I think I can do it. You can do it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, hopefully we're ahead by. Hopefully, Misaris is ahead. It's not Mohawk. It's we. It's our first us. Yep. But uh, hopefully, if you got, you know, you're, you're, you're not going to have to run into that situation. You yeah. Added several PATs after touchdowns this week. We're not going to be in that position. Uh, what are your goals for the future, buddy? What are you going to do? You got other sports besides football? Uh, I'm in track, and then I'll play the soccer in the spring, too. All right, very good for you. Now, uh, goals what do you, you know, for the, over the summer and, and get ready for football uh, for next year? I plan on trying to work hard, extend my range. I'll, I'll take over kickoff next year, so my goal is to be able to kick touch, touchbacks every time. So okay. we'll just work towards that. All right, very good, buddy. Thanks for coming by. Thank you. Good luck for the rest of the year. Uh, Jake Green is a freshman, and Jake, talk about your role in the ball club. What positions? Uh, I play B. B? Yeah, wide receiver. Okay. And I try to hit all my routes really hard. All right, so you, that's all you do in offense, wide receiver. Yeah. And you're putting, do you have a JV team? You have a JV team, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you play mostly JV? Yeah. Have you gotten any varsity games at all this year? Yeah, a couple. A couple as a freshman, that's good. That's admirable as a freshman, very good. Uh, what can you do to get a little bit better, buddy? Um, train on the off season. And how are we gonna train? Like wait less and eat more. Eat more, huh? Well, I'm gonna put you. Pizza Hut's gonna start you on that tonight, right after the show. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. And yeah, we're gonna get you in there. Uh, other sports other than football? Uh, I do track, and that's it. That's it. All right. And weight room this summer, right? Yep. And in fact, actually, you probably can hit the weight room. As soon as you're allowed to, right after football season, right? Yeah. How much weight can we put on this guy? Oh, we can put a lot. He's a hard worker, and his dad works, so we, we, works we, out with him. Too. Yeah, he's, yeah. He's, yes, he's a very weight, hard worker. Weight on. We don't want you to lose any steps as far as speed. He's going to get faster, too. All right. Yeah. Very good, buddy. Uh, Travis Layton, right? Senior. Yes, sir. Yeah, you, you're the point guard in the basketball team, too, right? <laughs> no. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I don't think so. All right, Travis, you, you got to be O line, D line, one of the two, right? Yes, sir. All right, both? Yep. All right, and uh, as a senior, talk to me a little about this year. I mean, I don't get disappointed. You, you, I think, you know, talking to you guys, you're expecting some more wins. Uh, it didn't happen. 
you know, you got one week left. You got you got to savor this moment, buddy. Yeah. Um, obviously, not everything's gone our way this year. There's you know been stutters along the way, but I think honestly, we played to our utmost potential in most games. All right. Uh, we fought really hard, and I'm proud of the rest of the boys on this team uh, right. across the board. All right. So when you look back, you know, 15 years from now, you can feel pretty good about yeah. DHS and. Uh, the role you play. Yeah, absolutely. I know that I'm giving my 110%. I know everybody else on this team, you know, they're giving their 110%. That's all that really matters to me. All right. How do you feel about the last week of the season? This is the last week of your high school football career. It's emotional. Um, definitely hoping that we can go out this Friday and really make a statement and say that this is Bucyrus High School and that this is what we stand for. All right. Very good. This is a winnable game. We're not taking any away from Upper Sandusky because they, they're, they're a good, admirable opponent. Yeah. But uh, this is a winnable game. Yeah. Buddy, I appreciate you stopping yep. by. Finally, I've got uh, Rakim Deaver, a freshman, another freshman. And Rakim, positions you play? I play wide receiver and linebacker. And linebacker, all right. Now, talk to me, as a freshman, I'm, I'm assuming you're playing some JV? I play, I play both. Play both, and you play some varsity as well. Yeah. So you are getting some varsity time. Yep. That's pretty good. Uh, talk to me a little bit about some of the goals you have for yourself. Uh, I want to get a little bigger. How much? How much? How much you weigh right now? Uh, 140. 140? Yeah. yeah, you can stand and put a few pounds on. Yeah, no, I've been trying. Really? Yeah. You, know, gonna, you, you and uh, Jake or uh, yeah, Jake down there are gonna probably get a couple pizzas just to yourself. We probably put a little weight on you, but we don't want you to lose any speed. No oh, speed. No, I've got, I've got a lot of that. All right. Well, good. Other sports other than uh, football? I run track and I wrestle. All right. Very good. Wrestling. That's good. Well, you'll probably be back here during a couple of weeks when we do the wrestling team. Um, goals for the rest of this year? Uh, win this last game because it's very important. Yeah. All right, very good, buddy. I appreciate you stopping by. We're going to break for a second. We're going to come back and we're going to talk uh, to Coach about Upper Sandusky, not Mohawk, Upper Sandusky, and uh, we'll do that just in a moment. Our show brought to you by Luann Krebs at Rivers Edge Embroidery, screen printing, signs, the official foam board t shirt provider, Route 309, right across from the Marion Depot. We've got to get some more of those we ran out, Coach. And uh, we've got Dr. Thomas M. Britton at Club View Vision Center just down the street from us here. Mike Kleinite, the big kahuna at Ag Credit Residential Lending, Bucyrus, Mount Gilead, and Marion. The Ohio State University of Marion, a Big Ten education close to home. Ted Coder at the Monarch Body Shop in Washington. Life Freely Todd McDougal, Freely and Company Insurance in Washington. So I'm talking a little bit about Mike Kleinite here. Um, he played football in high school at Gallup. And, 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 I, and just for the benefit of some of the listeners, uh, a big football family, his brothers played for Gallium. Mike played on the 1978 team, was undefeated. Okay. Um, his dad played in the 1950s on a, on a Gallium championship football team. His grandfather played in 1938 <laughs> on a Gallium football state champ, or not state champ, but a championship team. So they, they got a, the Kleinites go way back. And uh, uh, Mike is uh, still, he loves all football, you know. I give him an opportunity to do just the album. He does, he wants to be Cyrus. He wants to he wants all, he wants all the schools. He's interested in all of it. He's interested in all the schools. He, he, he's, his heart's over at Heisen Park, the third sure, sure, stadium. Sure, it should but be. It should be, but uh, he, you know, I, I call up and I say, hey, we got these teams in the playoffs. Do them, you know, that's it. So, uh, Mike Klein at the Big Kahuna. Let's uh, talk a little about uh, Upper Sandusky this week. At home, a winnable football game. It, it is, but we're going to have to play well. I mean, they're, they're the least. This is not a rubber stand. No, gosh, no. No, their their uh, offense is uh, one of the best offenses in the league. They're, they're the leading passing team in the league. I just uh, handle that. Uh, you know, you, you, they do it in a manner in which, you know, they, they try to put the defenders in conflict between run and pass. Um, so, you know, we, we have to match up well with them and, uh, Take a, try to take away what they what they do most and uh, force them to do something that they generally don't Can't want to. Can you force them to run? And if they do, is are they are they efficient at that? Well, you know, they actually run the, as far as number of plays. They have more running plays than passing plays, but their passing game's been more efficient. So, you know, you want to you want to try that to make them uh, um, do the more difficult pass or the more difficult play and uh, you know they, they, last week they, they, they struggled a little bit of synergy but they had a few kids out of due, due to quarantine so um, you know I don't think that was a true indication of, of the team we're going to see. 
right? He's the success. Well, I th I think first off, you know, we gotta we gotta you know be solid on defense um, and and just uh, contain them, and then we need to possess the ball, control the ball. Um, and be more Time efficient. Time going to be extreme. Yes, yes, and be more Keep efficient. Keep them off the field. Exactly. Be more efficient on offense. All right. Very good, Coach. It's always a pleasure to have you on the radio with us. We are going to look forward to talking to you or some of your colleagues next week. We'll wrap up the show with you. I appreciate your time. Right. Gentlemen, good luck this week. Thanks so much. We'll be Great. back. Thank you. We'll win for the Royals. Coming up. That comes up in just a few moments from right now.